My name is Andrea, and I played on the team from 2007 until 2012 for a total of five years. Hi guys, my name is Haley Grayson. I played on the girls' high performance team from 2004 until 2008. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Jazz Braden. Um, I played with Dempsey Futures basketball team from 2001 to 2006, so grade 8 to grade 12 when I graduated. Hi, my name is Mary Nario, and I've played four years in the team. Hey guys, um, my name is Dana Gard. I'm 22 years old now and I played on the high performance basketball team for six years. Yep. Hi ladies, my name is Shauna Burry and I played on the girls basketball team up in Northwest Territories from about 1998 to 2002. Hey ladies, it's Rosine here. I've been on the team for about six years, um, from 2007 to about 2012 roughly. Hi, my name is Haley Matheson. I played on the women's NWT women's high performance basketball team uh, from 1998 to 2002. Hey, I'm Leela Hurst. Uh, I was on the high performance basketball team from when I was in grade seven in about 2000 till I graduated high school in 2006. Hi, I'm Lana, and I played from 2002 to 2006. I'm Lisa, and I was on the team from 2001 to 2006. And I'm Megan, and I was on the girls basketball team from 2001 to 2006. Hi, my name is Frankie Sinclair, and I played on the girls high performance basketball team uh, from year about 2002 to 2005. Hey everyone, um, my name's Allison. I played on the team from I think it was 2002 to 2007, my grade 8 year to my grade 12 year. One of my favorite memories from playing on the team was when we went to Hawaii um, at the end of 2007. After a lot of fundraising and a lot of hard work to go to Cuba, which was an amazing experience. Going to Cuba in 2005 and playing against their girls national team. Uh, the time we went to Cuba together and uh, Brad proposing to Toby just before we flew out. A favorite memory I'd probably have to say would be our trip to Hawaii. It was it was amazing. Like what what a better place when you're from Yellowknife <laughs> to get to spend uh, a week with um, some girls that you had basically grown up with and worked so hard with and became so close with. My favorite memory was traveling to our Winter Games and having really awesome close competition against other northern teams. It was when we were at the Arctic Winter Games in Alaska. We went to Arctic Winter Games and Canada Games and got to play with some of the best athletes in the nation. Those were some, some great times and great memories. It's probably the road trips. Um, busing down to Grand Prairie and spending an entire weekend with your team. Oh, it was always fun. Probably our pregame cheers. Honestly, I to this day, I miss that energy and that fun that we had right before a game. That feeling you get in your stomach and you're so excited, but you're equally nervous. And you know every girl on the team is feeling the same way, but you're all so excited to get on the court together. Our team retreats and all the time we spent together off the court, which was a lot. The many tournaments we went on and the tears that were shed on the courts uh, our first time playing in the Nationals when we got out against Team Ontario and realized that our tallest girl was shorter than their shortest girl and we left it all on the court and still lost by 120 points or something really embarrassing but came out of that game singing songs and I remember running to a stranger in the street and he said hey you girls must have really won a great game and we lost so embarrassingly, but still had such an amazing time. Well, all my favorite memories happened on or off the court with those girls. Um, Hawaii was our big trip to Hawaii was a big memory. Any trip, in fact, any trip hanging out in the hotel rooms, traveling on the buses, the airplanes. I mean, spending that much close time with a group of girls. How can you not fall in love with them all? just going through so many really intense learning experiences with 
our amazing teammates and growing so much together and, and changing so much together that it's hard to even nail down a specific memory because all of it was such an incredibly valuable period of my life. What playing on the team taught me? God, what didn't it teach me? Playing basketball on that team taught me so much. My leadership skills. Um, I learned so much playing those those uh, years with the team. I learned a lot about how when you dedicate yourself to something, you learn time management. You learn how to work with different personalities and how to to all come together to work towards one goal. Two big things that being on the team taught me was discipline and commitment. So what I really learned from being on the team was how to um, push myself. And that started with um, showing my teammates and my coaches what I could do and how, how hard I could go and how big my heart was and all that stuff. And then it kind of became um, showing myself what I had in me and, you know, going farther than I ever thought I could. Teamwork, you know, means working with other people and being flexible and being understanding, having really good communication. You can't win a game of basketball by yourself. You need to be able to communicate with your teammates. I've learned the value of integrity, um, what commitment really means. Uh, when I started as a rookie, oh God, it was the worst year of my life. I was so out of shape. Couldn't keep up. Lila was always beating me up in the post. Pretty sure I cried every day. Yep. Started off awesome. However, by my grade 10 year, I could not stop playing. Couldn't stop. It was the best feeling of my life. Not only does it teach you how to win and how to win gracefully, but how to lose, how to fail. Like, that it's okay to lose a game and that life goes on, you know? Like, it's okay to try something and fail at it. I think I learned that. It's one of the biggest lessons that I learned being on the team. You learn how to work hard. You learn discipline, um, respect. Playing on the team taught me how important being a team player is and how important confidence is and how amazing it is to have a family away from family, to have that second family, to have that group of girls that you can count on no matter what that's always there for you because they're pretty amazing. That bond you create with your team, it's pretty phenomenal. I sat here and tried to think about what being on the team taught me, and I started tearing up because... Uh, just this flood of amazing memories coming back of, of everything that I learned from my years with the basketball team. Um, those girls were with me through some of the most formative years of my life. And, you know, big things like learning how far I could push myself and learning my own boundaries, learning how I interact with other people and how I motivate myself, uh, learning how I learn. Personally, I think my work ethic in life in general kind of developed uh, through that high performance team. When you're sweating it out on the court and, and you know, not trying to put up a front of who you are and it's one of those times in high school where you just get to be yourself and just laugh. I kind of went through a phase in high school where I was kind of uh, maybe hanging around with the wrong kids and um, started skipping school and wasn't doing very good. And uh, I, I owe that to my coaches of my basketball team kind of pulling me aside and kind of slapping me in the face and saying, uh, Haley, if you don't smarten up and start concentrating on school and start, you know, applying yourself. And if, you know, if I'm not pulling my weight in school and I've got just passing marks in all my classes, um, no university is going to want me. The team taught me a ton. Uh, taught me hard work and teamwork and commitment and dedication. And I learned a lot from playing on the team um, about those life lessons. And those are really important qualities that are going to help you down the road. And what I miss most about the team is it's the girls. I honestly, um, I love them to death. It's hard. 
but I miss it every day. Every single day. I even miss running suicides and doing regs. One of the things I miss the most is being with the team. Teammates and coaches come and go, but they will always be a part of your life. They are the ones whom you share your victory with, your losses, and especially the pain of having to run so many suicides. I miss playing. I miss having regular practices. I think I would give anything, you know, to play again. I also miss being a part of a team and and having that group of people that you can count on. Like those girls that I met on the team are some of the best friends that I've made and are still so important in my life. The high performance team is a huge part of my life. I like watch people play basketball now and miss it and I miss the girls. I miss playing with Sabrina. I even miss funny with Sabrina. Together, I miss the people, I miss the laughter, I miss the inside jokes. I miss uh, showing up for 6 a.m. shoot-around practice. I miss the encouragement from our teammates when you were having maybe a hard practice and you just needed, uh, needed a little bit of a look and a friend would send you a wink and everything would be okay and you'd be able to run one last suicide. One thing um, we all kind of miss about being on the team was a kind of set time for all of us to be together during the week. So there would be practices, there would be gym workouts, there would be, you know, well retreats or trips or whatever. And it was always just a time we would always get together. And it was, basketball was our passion and it brought whatever the 15, 20 of us girls together on a regular basis. So we were able to share this joy that we had in basketball, but we were also able to share our kind of hardships together if we had personal stuff going on or if it was just a really hard basketball practice and we just were having a hard time getting through that you know you could draw on your friends and teammates to get through that what i miss most about being on the team is my family away from home my basketball girls i miss you guys so much i miss the girls and um yeah, it was just a really, really special relationship that we developed. What I miss most, um, of course, first and foremost, uh, the people. I miss uh, Toby and Karen and, you know, Jazz and Akash and Lisa and Megan and Julia and Allison and Anessa and that whole uh, Laura. Sometimes, you know, you just want to quit. But in the end, I really think it was that group of girls that kept me going right to the end and playing and playing so hard all the time and just giving my heart. In terms of what I miss about the team, I just miss being part of a team like that. It was just a really fun time and um, the girls I played with were amazing. Advice I have for you girls now, um, never give up. Honestly, on and off the court, if you think you've given it all, I'm sure you have just a little bit more in you to give. And after that game, knowing that you've given it your all, you're going to feel so much better. And confidence. You guys all have the skill to do amazing. So be confident because confidence shows on the court. Know that you're going to make that shot. Know that you're going to make that pass. And you will make it. You will make that pass. You will make that shot. Really make an effort to create relationships with your teammates off the court as well. One of the amazing things about um, the team that I got to be a part of is that we, we would spend a lot of time together off the court. Enjoy the time with all the girls around you right now. I promise you, your time will go by so fast. So enjoy it while you can. Enjoy it. Enjoy playing enjoy um, being a part of the team. I miss playing so much, so don't, don't take it for granted. Just enjoy practices. And every time you step onto the court, play like it's the last time you will be on the court. Whether it's a game or practice, just make it matter while, while it does. Honestly, don't ever doubt yourself. There's going to be one day, one game, it takes one game to do anything amazing. And honestly, when that day comes, it is the best feeling in the world. It is the best feeling in the world to have your best friend standing right beside you. It's really important to trust your coaches and really listen to them and respect them and 
just have faith that they know what they're doing. They can see the big picture. And even when it, you might feel frustrated or unsure about what's happening, just really lean on them and respect them. Even though sometimes they can seem like they are just this evil workhorse who's like cracking the whip, telling you to run more suicides and, you know, pushing you to your like limits. Um, trust them. Treat your teammates with respect and enjoy the time you have to each other and work hard. And I'm very jealous of all you girls um, starting off on this new basketball adventure because I, I miss it. To lean on your teammates because they know what you're going through. You're the same age, you're in the same program, you know, you have the same stuff going on at school. So trust them and talk to them, communicate with them off the court. Um, and just really appreciate the opportunity you have to have a nice bond with this group of girls. Like, this bond continues way past your four years on the team, that's for sure. The advice that I would give to girls that are on the team now is uh, to keep at it, especially if you're new and it's scary and intimidating and it seems like you can't keep up and you can't do it. Uh, we've all been there and we all know exactly how you're feeling and we feel for you. Um, it gets better and you get better and everyone around you is there to support you. Work hard. Work, like, work ridiculously hard. Just trust in your teammates love and respect your teammates, enjoy them, and man, like, find an excuse to laugh. My advice for you ladies is that hard work and dedication really pay off. Always challenge yourself and continue to set goals for yourself on a personal level and as a player, and make sure you celebrate your successes and treat yourself when you achieve those goals. We just got along so well. It's hard to explain. I can and still count on these girls for anything. You know, all these years later, we still come to each other and we still are drawn to each other and love each other. And But it was always nice to have someone that you could turn to if you needed someone to talk to. I carry I carry those girls and that time with the team with me in ways that I didn't even notice until I sat down and started thinking about it just now. By the end of it, those girls were, not only was I out with them at basketball practice and on the court, we, we were a family outside of that. We would go for drives at lunch hours and um, after school and even to this day, any time we were in town, we make sure we get together. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it's been. It could, I probably didn't see them for two, three years and I'll see them and we could honestly be like the best friends. I mean, 10 years since I've played ball with these girls, but I run into them and I mean, make an effort to get together and every time it's such a hoot. And we just laughed it off and, and we all just had that thing in common, playing together. That's, that's how great this basketball program is, that sense of family. Uh, I just want to say hi to all the girls who I played with throughout the years, if you're watching. I miss you and hope you're all doing really well. Good luck with this season and have fun and play as hard as you can. Good luck everyone. You're gonna love it.